On this video, I'm starting off where I left on the previous video. The only changes I've made off camera is instead of having these button cards in three separate columns, each button card now has its own individual column. The top row of buttons from left to right is columns one, two, and three. The bottom row of buttons are in columns four, five, and six. I kept the naming convention the same as before with the inclusion of C4, C5 and C6. So for example this first button is in column 1 and this second button just below it is in column 4. This looks fine on the tablet but let's see how it looks on a mobile device. It doesn't look too bad, but the buttons are all squished into a small space and there's a lot of unused space at the bottom of the screen. A better solution would be to have two buttons per row and also remove the left and right margins. Back on the PC we can edit the layout by going to Edit View page. The addition we need to add to this grid layout is Media Query. We need to then specify when this query will take action. In this case, when the width of the screen is less than 600 pixels, this layout will take effect. As I'm only going to be using two columns on the mobile view and removing the two margins I have on the original layout, my new column width will be 50% on both columns. For the grid area, H1 or my header will remain at the top. Below that I'll have C1 and 2, C3 and C4 below that, and then lastly columns 5 and 6. No changes will take effect here as the screen width is over 600 pixels, so let's see how it now looks on the phone. As expected, we're now only seeing two columns, so there's a lot less unused space below. Next, instead of having an empty margin on the left, I want to add some sensor graphs to make use of the empty space. To do this, go back into the Edit View page of your dashboard. I'm going to remove M1, which is my left margin, and replace it with S1 and S2, which will be two separate areas to add items in my sidebar. For these cards, I'm just going to paste in a card I created earlier using the custom mini graph card I downloaded from Hacks. At the end of the script, I've specified the grid area I want to use, in this case S1, i.e. my first sidebar area. I'm going to do the same for the next card, but this time using S2, which will be the secondary sidebar area below S1. After adding these cards, I can see there's room for two more graph sensors within the second and third row. So I'm going to add two more sidebar areas. I'm going to specify S1 and S2 to be on the same row as columns 1, 2 and 3. And then S3 and S4 will be on the same row as columns 4, 5 and 6. M2 or margin 2, which is the margin on the right hand side of the screen, will remain unchanged. Now I just need to add the two additional sidebar cards one card which will live in the S3 area and one card which will be in the S4 area. 
Again, I'm just pasting in the mini graph card I created before recording this video. As always, I'll have the code used in this video linked in the description below. Some of the text on the cards has been cut off. Here I could either shorten the sensor name on each card, adjust the font size, or as I'm going to do here, increase the column width from 9.5% of the screen to 13.5% of the screen, decreasing the margin on the right hand side. We now need to include these sidebar items within the sidebar query for our mobile device. There's no room on either side of the mobile dashboard to fit any more items, so instead I'm going to have S1, 2, 3 and 4 appear above the custom button cards. S1 and 2 will be at the top, S3 and S4 will be below that. After saving that, let's now see how it looks on a mobile device. So everything has worked correctly, and we now have our sidebar items being moved to the top of the page whenever we open the dashboard on our phone. The only thing I'm going to change now is change the opacity levels on the mini graph background. At the moment, it's quite difficult to read any of the text. To do this, I'm going to be using Card Mod, which you can download from Hacks. Check out my previous video where I go into more detail on how to install Card Mod and how to use it. I'm going to be removing the background transparent command and replace it with 80% opacity. Back on my phone, after refreshing the page, I can now see and read the text a lot more clearly. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get notified of future content.